Hi guys, so this is LNDR Tom here and today I have got my Xbox Series X. So I thought I'd do a unboxing to show you what's in it. So. got the console which is a lot heavier than I thought it would be we've got the booklet and we have HDMI, power cable, and then the Xbox itself. I will also set this up and then do another little mini video. Cheers. Hi guys, so this is my desk at the moment. As you can see, the size difference between those two is pretty big. Um, you got this little one, which is a brilliant console. I absolutely love this console, but I did always want an X. So I did say that I would get that. So I will just unplug that and I'll stand them next to each other so you can get a better idea of the size difference. So now I've unplugged the Xboxes and as you can see, they're not actually that different in height. I thought they might be, uh, but yeah, they're not too much different in height. Width is a bit of uh, difference. As you can see, the... Uh, X is a lot wider, which I knew it would be anyway. But I thought I would show you guys in detail the size difference. I do love that green glow in the X. But like I've said, um, if any of you haven't got either of these consoles yet and you do want an X or you're undecided, do not put this one down. This That is a great console. I was very shocked at how impressed I was with that console. But like I said, I did want a, an X from day one. Um, so when I was able to get one two days ago, um, I thought I've got, to, I've got to get it. And I'll put my other one in my gym so that I've got one in both areas. But uh, yeah, don't don't put the uh, the Series S down. It is a great console. But if you obviously do want the X, then go for the X. But the S is super small, even compared to my old Xbox One S. When I'd done a comparison picture, um, it was a lot smaller than that. But it does definitely pack a punch. So yeah, there's the size difference of the two consoles. And I will now set them up. 